This one I got from like the Xi'an train station, I think, in Xi'an. Do you know what it's about? No, not yet. I can't read Chinese well enough to do that. What's the title? Show me. Can't read that. Hong Long Meng. Hong Long What? Hong Long Meng. Hong Long Meng. Yeah, the red, <laughs> red chamber store, you know, the drink, uh, the red chambers. <laughs> oh, you put a bunch of hot sauce on it? Hmm? Usually some chocolate on something. This is a burrito, or this is a taco. What is the difference between a burrito and a taco? Uh, this is a burrito, or this is a. Taco is kind of like sort of folded over. I mean, it's like if you have one of those tortillas and then you fold, just fold it over. It's a harder one. Yeah. It's the same stuff. Okay, what happened to all that? There it is. Dadia,好,我的名字是周琪琪。Dadia,好,我的名字是周琪琪。我写,我写的无法控制的魔力。无法控制的魔力? Just in English. I wrote this book, Flying Fingers, here, the Chinese version, when, at the age of seven, and it's also been published in Britain, in the United States, and in, in traditional Chinese. It has recently been released in Vietnam, and I was doing an Asia tour about a month ago, which is very exciting, and I enjoyed it very much. Did you also go to Hong Kong, China? I was in Hong Kong for a book festival, and then we went to Vietnam, which was filled with lots of presentations at schools and seeing sightseeing as well. In China, we were able to do even more sightseeing than um, in Vietnam and in Hong Kong, we saw the Summer Palace, uh, Tiananmen Square, and the Forbidden City, and many other um, places, and we also went to Xi'an, which is very exciting. So what's your impression of China? I am very impressed by the way in, in which China has advanced and developed. Um, I can see that it has grown more, uh, more even more of a world and Beijing has going to be a very world-oriented um, city, not just uh, the capital of China, but one of the capitals of the world. And Hong Kong, Vietnam, um, I was very impressed by my travels, um, and I think that travel is really important because it gives us a view of what life in other countries is like. Would you consider charitable work uh one of your main activities of your career? Why? I believe that charitable work is one of the main activities of my career because charitable work allows me to reach out and make a lasting impact, a positive impact as well, on the lives of others. And reading and writing and spreading my message of reading and writing is great because it allows me to share this love with others. But when children and when families, when people are in great need of something, of food, of immediate assistance, then charitable work allows me to really help these people so that they will be able to enjoy the wonderful life like mine. Uh, tell us about what you did in Vietnam. In Vietnam, I raised 30,000 U.S. dollars to aid recovery efforts for education after floods in central Vietnam. And one copy of my book, Flying Fingers, autographed copy, sold for 5,000 U.S. dollars. Very good. Just a second. I mean... <laughs> I feel that... Wait. How would
do. I know that I am more privileged than many other children in the world because, uh, first of all, I live in a very much developed country and I am able to live in a relatively large house. I live in a fairly nice area. I'm able to have at least three meals a day with plenty of snacks, of course, whereas other children I have read about um, sometimes get as little as only a handful of starch or some sort of unpleasant food every day or not even on a consistent basis and from this comparison, this very sharp comparison, I can see that I am very privileged. However, I think that it's human nature to be comparing upwards to say, oh, I am not as privileged as this person. So instead of looking down and saying, well, we are very high, we look up and think we are very low. How do you plan to use your fame to help other children who are less privileged? I plan to use my so-called fame to help other children who are less privileged through um, activities, fundraising activities like my uh, charitable work in Vietnam where I raised 30,000 US dollars for children hit hard by the floods in central Vietnam. So this example is hopefully just one of many that I will continue to do throughout my writing career to help other children and other people recover from emergent um, from natural disasters and rebuild education and many other things throughout the world. Why do you think it's important to give education opportunities to poor children in the world? I think that this is important because poor children, especially those in third world countries, without education you are virtually cut off from the rest of the world and also cut off from opportunities to advance from a low position and become have a better status in life and a better chance at life. Education is what gives us the chance to succeed and to do better and to get, reach higher goals. And education helps us spread our imagination to travel to other lands even if we might not be able to afford a plane ticket. So. Uh, education is very important, very vital to helping children in third world countries rise from a low status. Can you describe how you feel when you teach other kids to enjoy reading and writing? I uh, feel very exhilarated and very happy because I know that this is making an impact on somebody else, a positive impact and that hopefully this will help them um, start a love and cultivate a love of reading and writing. And many of my students from my presentations have said after that they, the first thing they wanted to do was start writing. I would like to become a teacher and a journalist when I grow up besides my writing career because as a teacher I am able to reach out to a, um, an, if I were a teacher grown up, although I already am one right now, being a teacher allows us to reach out to other people and to make an impact on them, something that they will remember. Also teaching allows you to cement information or a learning experience in your own mind. Teaching is one of the best ways of learning because when we teach, we want to make sure that we are providing quality information and facts. If we say it's, it, that it is a fact, then it has to be a fact because this is something that we are teaching other people that they will take as a fact. And it, therefore, we take a lot of care in teaching and I think that it is a very good way to learn. How about being a journalist? As for a journalist,